हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस प्रोग्रामेटिक एडवर्टाइजिंग क्वेश्चन सीरीज पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व प्रोग्रामेटिक एडवर्टाइजिंग क्वेश्चंस व्हिच हैव बीन सेलेक्टेड वेरी सेलेक्टिवली एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोग्रामेटिक एडवर्टाइजमेंट सो वट इज नेटिव एडवर्टाइजिंग सो नेटिव एडवर्टाइजिंग इज पेड मीडिया डिजाइन टू मैच द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ ए मीडिया सोर्स An example of mobile native advertising would be paid video content on the YouTube app. This media is designed to match the visual design and functions of natural content appearing in your feed of recommended videos. Why is native advertising important? So native advertising offers the opportunity to connect with users and format of the users choosing. Native advertising can also be less intrusive. than traditional ad formats such as banner ads in addition to this the ad contextual relevance means that native advertising can produce high click through rate and boost conversions to learn more about the pros and cons take a look at our guide on choosing the right format for your campaigns why do advertisers choose native advertising these type of ads provide a great opportunity for creative exposure and advertisers can be sure that users already enjoy the format in which the ad will be presented recommendation widgets and in feed commerce are popular native advertising options but advertisers can also use the method to distribute creative customized in app content native advertising also presents several challenges particularly because these ads require a native understanding of the platform the more advertisers can learn about a platform the better their native advertising is likely to be however the benefits outweigh the complexities of these challenges by tailoring advertising for a platform's forms and functions there is an opportunity to expose users to unique content that is particularly engaging to your target audience native advertising also often outperforms traditional ads studies have shown that even though users are aware the content was paid for native advertising gets higher engagement than traditional advertising methods this could be because the content can be consumed in a way that is natural and intuitive to a user's regular media consumption what is a cookie cookie also referred to as a strip tp cookies or browser cookies are small text files stored in a web browser's directory or data folder e-commerce website place cookies on visitors browsers to retain login credentials identify customers and provide a customized shopping experience what cookies do what cookies secure websites use cookies to validate users identity as they browse from page to page without cookies login credential would have to be entered between before every product added to cart or wish list cookies enable and improve customer login persistent shopping carts wish list product recommendations customer custom user interface retaining customer address and payment information How do cookies work? When a user lands on an e-commerce website for the first time, the web page makes a record of the activity on its remote server and it places a cookie in the user's browser files. The cookie is only a short line of text. It contains no information about the user or the user's machine. Instead, it typically contains the URL of the website that placed the cookie, a unique generated number and an expiration date for the cookie. As the user browses the website each new page the user visits queries the browser looking for the cookie if the cookie's url matches the website's url the website retrieves the user information from its server by utilizing the unique generated number in this way the website adjusts the user experience to reflect her browsing history if user searches the site for uh, cowboy boots then the next time the user comes to the site the website will retrieve the user's record and fill the landing page with more cowboy boots some websites also use cookies to customize the website experience a new user may see one version of the landing page while a long time user may see a different layout entirely types of cookies so cookies can be divided into two major categories with many subsets session cookies which stay on browser and retain your information until it closes When a new browser window is opened, the same user is treated as a new visitor and must input their login credentials. Persistent cookies have a designated <coughs> life span and remain in a browser until the period elapses or the cookie is manually deleted. Websites that use persistent cookies will remember users even after they close a browser. 
Persistent cookies enable features such as persistent shopping carts which retain products added to cart between sessions. Can we traffic interstitial ads in DBM? You can traffic full page web ads, web interstitials, are an additional inventory and revenue source. Publishers can monetize web pages with impactful ads while respecting better ad standards. To respect the user experience, web interstitials preload and render automatically before navigating away from the page without delay. When the user clicks a link in the page, have a clear exit option. Have a configurable frequency cap by default. A given publisher can show an ad to a user only once per hour per subdomain. Match Google search standards for avoiding intrusiveness. What are the prerequisites of setting up a YouTube campaign in DBM? So supported file formats, AVI, MOV, MP4, MPOV, MPV, MPG, WebM, dimensions, landscape, horizontal, 1280 into 720 pixels, 920, 1920, 1980, 1440, 1080, portrait, vertical, square shaped, aspect ratio, landscape, portrait, vertical, codec, frame rate, bit rate, length, file size, black bars, letter boxing. All these are the prerequisites of setting a YouTube campaign in DBM. If ad is not displaying as intended, do you create test page to preview? So you don't need to create a test page to preview. Ad preview and diagnosis tool is available, a tool in your account that helps identify why your ad or ad asset might not be appearing. The tool also shows a preview of Google search research page for a specific term. This helps you see which ads and assets are appearing for your keyword. keyword. Once you enter a search term, and other criteria like language and location, the tool will tell you whether your ad is eligible to appear in that situation. The ad preview and diagnosis tool suggests search term auto completion size you type. Suggestions come from keywords with impressions in your account and are ordered by volume. Use this tool to check if your ad asset is showing with an ad for a particular keyword. If any of your assets are not showing, the tool will tell you what might be causing them not to show. Use the, the share this search feature to bookmark a specific searches or to send this URL to colleagues or clients so they can view Google search results for this particular search as well. Keep in mind that the search results returned by this tool may change over time. For example, a preview of your ad may no longer appear in the tool when your campaign reaches its average daily budget. If you want to see how your ad appears in search results, it is better to use this tool than to do a search on Google. You will see the exact same results as a Google search, but it won't affect your performance stats by accumulating an impressions, ad impressions every time you search for your ad. To use the ad preview and diagnosis tool, click the tools icon at the top right of your Google ads account, then click on ad preview and diagnosis under the planning section. You can also <coughs> go right <coughs> to google.com uh, ad preview. So here I wanted to show you this. These are the what are the UTM parameters? Why are they used? Uh, so we'll go there. So UTM parameters are short text codes that you add to URLs to help you track the performance of web page or campaign. UTM parameters are simple, straightforward and reliable way to track traffic online. They are not affected by changes to third party cookies or the Facebook pixel. UTM tags can be used. So it's used to show which site the visitors are coming from medium, used to show which marketing channels are bringing the visitor to your site. Examples include but are not limited to email, social or cost per click campaign used to identify which campaign the promotion is associated with term used to manually identify paid keywords you are targeting with your campaign content used to identify the exact element on your ad or promotion that was clicked. This is often used for optimization purpose. How does CM360 charge clients? The advertiser is charged for every thousand impressions served. The advertiser is charged for every thousand impression measured as a viewable by active view. The advertiser is charged every time a creative is clicked on. The advertiser is charged every time a user performs a selected activity. So that's all for today's programmatic advertising question series part 6. Hope you liked the questions. 
and uh, i will be coming with more such kind of questions in future this is the sixth part of the advertising series i am planning to make at least 20 uh, uh, like parts of advertising question series which which may increase in future so all the best and keep learning keep enjoying the things